What's up guys, Jordan Super here again from Inigo New Kingdom, weinigo.com So today I want to talk about the things that helped me the most become the person I am today at least when it comes lifestyle wise So here are the top 10 things to live the perfectly perfect life that you want to live Number one, it's the most important one on the list is sleep How much sleep are you getting? Are you getting 8 hours, 6 hours, 4 hours and are you taking naps? Everybody's different. Body type and diet and all that stuff affects how much sleep you need and also how happy you are. So monitor your sleep habits. It's way more essential than you think it really is. And take naps. They say that you retain way more information as opposed to just taking a break or eating throughout the day. Naps are the key to having a healthy life and being the most productive you can be. 45 minutes is the optimum time to take a nap for in a day. Number two is water. As most of you already know, our body is 80% water. So drink as much water you possibly can, especially in the mornings. When your head feels all drowsy and clogged up, because 20% of the water intake you have that day is being flushed out of your body. So drink at least 64 ounces of water when you wake up, but 20 ounces when you first wake up. In fact, the whole day, if you can, get to a gallon. But 64 hours you really need every single day. Number three. Be sure that you're stretching every single day. You know, the most reason why people even have injuries happen to them or feel all stiff, you know, isn't because of this out of shape. It's because they're not stretching enough. So spend at least 3% of your time stretching. And as soon as you wake up, make sure you're stretching your body out, you know, touch the toes, get the blood pumping. It would make your whole day seem so much different and way more energy to your body. Number four is also super important. This is your diet. So, everyone wants to do the perfect six pack or the perfect body, wants to gain or lose weight. Well, how much of your diet are you contributing to do that? How much protein are you taking? Calories, fruits, and vegetables. They even say that when you um, eat a certain fruit or vegetable that matches the color of your chocolates, as opposed to like red or blue or purple, it actually makes that chocolate stronger. So there's all different kind of practices. Don't be stuck into one certain kind of diet type. Vegan, vegetarian, fruitarian. There's so many options out there. Explore different avenues and make sure it works for your body. I'll post out more stuff below on what books you can read and stuff that help me. So there's so many different practices you can really use and utilize a perfect diet type. Number five, that has to be your mind. I was saying about reading books, you want to know how your body works. So I'm a huge, huge fan of reading health books. I went to school for pre-med and psychology books. But also, go into like self-help books and spiritual books and business books especially. All these kind of books will definitely play a huge role in your life. If you only do that thing one time, I have saved your life then. So, like Gandhi said, live every single day as if you die tomorrow. But learn that if you will live forever, it's a key to having a perfectly perfect life. Your brain's your strongest muscle and the best asset you have other than just yourself and time. Number six is your soul, meditation. Are you finding that time to relax and just find your zen? Taking those deep breaths and letting everything just be. It's so powerful how the mind works. The monks that can lower the heart rate and even change the body temperature and the freezing cold just through meditation. The heart rate can be lower than the average American people in the whole world while they're sleeping in a meditation state. It does something to your brain. And some society even the same, it is a way to talk to God, the person inside yourself. So explore how meditation works. It's peace of mind. They once said, if every eight year old learned meditation, the Dalai Lama said there would be no more war in one generation. It's powerful stuff there. Number seven is exercise and yoga. It also plays part of that spirituality thing. If you don't like yoga, don't do it if you don't want to. But it has so many health benefits. It really gets you connected to your body. And it isn't about being better or worse or any of that. It's about just being doing it every single day and find out how your body works.
and exercise. Try to exercise at least 60 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day. Even five minutes. You know, five minutes is better than no, none at all. So try and get some exercise, work out your body, make sure you're you gonna be healthy. You don't wanna be 30 years from now not able to run around and walk because you didn't do it today. It's all about being persistent and consistent when it comes to your body. It is the best asset you really have. You know, it's part of your mind, like this is your temple. So cherish it, give it all you can, and make it the best you possibly can. Number eight, I'm talking about your family and your you time. Make time for your friends and family. You need those in your life. It helps you be happy. It makes you who you are. Like they always say, you're the product of the five people you have the most. So get out there, meet new people, learn new language, travel the world. But at the same time, don't just hang out with other people. Learn to be your own best friend. So take yourself out on dates or go to movies by yourself and leave your phone on silent. Don't text anybody or surf the web. Just be aware of your surrounding and just be there with yourself. You have so much to learn about yourself that you're surprised how much you didn't know. So try to find that balance. The rule of 33, you know, they say hanging out with somebody below you or who wants to help. Hang out to people in the same mind frame as you. And then hang out to people who you can learn from, help you inspire them and do the same cycle. And spend that one percent time on yourself. And one percent doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. So spend like an hour a day or a couple hours a week even if you can. Just by yourself, taking your own dates, your own hikes, or get a dog or something. Number nine is fear. Don't let fear control your life. The biggest fear that you can take is not taking any fear at all. And I had to watch this study on TED Talk that stress is actually a beneficial thing. We also overthink so much that when we're stressed out and having this fear complex, we're just overworking ourselves, making our body age faster. Stress is actually there to promote a fight or fight kind of thing, but of course make you better, prepare you for what's going to happen in the future. So let fear and stress be your friend and not your enemy. Another key thing I do every day to help my balance this out is hydrotherapy. You'd be surprised on the health benefits of it. I can probably talk about hydrotherapy on a whole video by itself. It has so many benefits, circulation, your blood flow, respiratory, your skin and hair, it kills bacteria. The list goes on and on. They've been doing it forever. And they even say back in the day, it's promoting to help you kill fear. Because you can handle ice cold from hot water. It's going to be a tremendous thing. So look up hydrotherapy and if you want me to make a video about it, let me know. And then lastly guys, this is the most important one. This is number 10. Always, always, at the utmost, follow your dreams. Follow your passions. What are your goals? And follow your heart and gut. You know, people always say listen to your gut and your intuition. And that's so key. If you're not happy every single day, then you need to rethink what's going on in your life. So always follow your dreams. And make sure that you are doing what you want to do. Don't let somebody else dictate your lifestyle. Even if your loved ones or your boss or anything like that. Like Steve Jobs said, you can look in the mirror every single day and ask yourself, will you be happy doing this five years from now, a year from now, or however long it is? And keep doing it. But if you're not, you need to reconsider what your lifestyle is doing and make it about yourself. You know, they always say, you are the star of your own movie. So make it the best movie you possibly can. Live life to the fullest and dream like you can do anything in the world because you really can. And as always guys, that ends this episode of my YouTube video. Be sure to follow my Snapchat on my Facebook. So I have daily posts every single day and taking recommendations. I have more info down below for you guys as well. So we're all in this together. But it all starts with you. Let's not repeat history. Let's create a new one together. Love you all.